Welcome, I am Mike the Coffee Guru, at least the self-proclaimed coffee guru, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get a hot coffee or a hot cappuccino out of a Jura machine. So probably one of the biggest problems or biggest complaints we get from people about Jura machines is that the coffee just doesn't taste hot. So firstly why that is that coffee in pretty much any automatic machine is regulated so it doesn't burn the coffee. Um, but the effect of which is that coffee does not taste nearly as hot as, as getting coffee from a kettle or an urn or any previous way of getting coffee. So there are some hacks around to try and get as close as you can to the original temperature without burning the coffee. So there's really three options. So option one on the machine, you do have a setting just to double check that you can either set a drink on hot or medium, uh, medium temperature. And medium temperature is pretty much a European setting. Um, hot is really uh, better for a South, uh, South African market or American market. Um, but that makes it a little bit hotter, but still for some people does not make the cappuccinos as hot as they want. So there's two ways left over. So number one, when you're making a cappuccino is I can set how much milk froth goes in and how much coffee goes in. Now, one thing with milk froth, you can never get that boiling boiling. So the trick is to do essentially more milk froth, uh, sorry, more coffee and less milk froth. Um, and you don't, want to, you don't want to make the ratios too, too one-sided because essentially a cappuccino is a big portion of milk froth. But instead of having two-thirds milk froth, you'd rather drop it down to about half a cup of milk froth and half a cup of coffee. That really brings your temperature up a heck of a heck of a lot. So firstly, what I'll do, just to give an example, I would make my cappuccino. Let's use this. Here I'm using a Jura E6, but it obviously works throughout uh, the whole Jura range. And I'll set it up so that it makes um, really about half a cup of, of milk froth and half a, half a cup of coffee. Um, so I would manually control the process. So instead of letting the machine run its, its entire course, I would stop it early. Um, and then essentially the coffee would be poured out after that. And that would make my, my, my temperature and my ratios pretty good. The other option I would look at is, um, and it's also a little bit of a hack, is making your cappuccino as you like to make your keep cappuccino. So whatever, whatever ratios you want, even two thirds froth milk and one third espresso, and topping up a tiny bit of boiling water. So if you are in the vicinity of a, a kettle or an urn, um, just to make a cappuccino and really do about 10 to 20 mils of boiling water can hugely, hugely impact the taste or the temperature of your coffee. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more or see more videos about coffee and coffee machines, please hit the subscribe button below and tune in for more.